Today's made possible really uh, with the help and the work of a lot of people over the past 10 to 12 years. They're all working towards the same goal of, of producing hatchling Texas horned lizards so we can try to reintroduce a population. I'm Diane Barber. I'm the curator of ectotherms at the Fort Worth Zoo. This year we're really excited because we've had our 1,000th Texas horned lizard hatchling at the zoo and our staff has gotten really good at taking care of and raising horned lizards and um, they deserve all the credit for it. We are at Mason Mountain Wildlife Management Area. It's a Texas Parks and Wildlife Managed property, and we are reintroducing Texas horned lizards here today. This year, we also had news from the field um, that some of our previously released horned lizards as hatchlings have returned and produced offspring. So they laid eggs this spring and they hatched. Our um, biologists that are monitoring the population have found them, so that's really exciting. Uh, Texas horned lizards uh, are a unique species because they have such a strong cultural attachment to people in Texas. Well, the Fort Worth Zoo is our, our first real partner in this project, along with TCU, but they were at the first zoo that was partnering with us on this, on this endeavor. The whole conversation about Landowners consistently asking us what happened to Texas horned lizards, you know, where did they go, are they ever going to come back? So that, that was kind of the genesis of this whole project. I think we still have a, a, a long road ahead of us, but yeah, it's, it's a really great sign for us of success. <laughs>